After console is installed, the agent must be run. The agent can run either in server or client mode. Each data center must have at least one server, though a cluster of three or five servers is recommended. A single server deployment is highly discouraged as data loss is inevitable in a failure scenario. All other agents run in client mode. A client is a very lightweight process that registers services, runs health checks, and forwards queries to servers. The agent must be running on every node that is part of the cluster. For simplicity, we'll start the console agent in development mode for now. This mode is useful for bringing up a single node console environment quickly and easily. It is not intended to be used in production as it does not persist any state. Run console agent dev. As you can see, the console agent has started and has output some log data. For the log data, you can see that our agent is running in server mode and has claimed leadership of the cluster. Additionally, the local member has been marked as a healthy member of the cluster. Now a note for OSX users, if you're running OSX, console will use your host name as the default node name. If your host name contains periods, DNS queries to that node will not work with console. So to avoid this, explicitly set the name of your node with the dash node flag. If you run console members in another terminal, you can see the members of the console cluster. We'll cover joining clusters in the next section, but for now you should only see one member yourself. The output shows our own node, the address it is running on, its health state, its role in the cluster, and some version information. Additional metadata can be viewed by providing the dash detailed flag. The output of the members command is based on the gossip protocol and is eventually consistent. That is, at any point in time, the view of the world as seen by your local agent may not exactly match the state of your servers. For a strongly consistent view of the world, use the HTTP API as it forwards the request to the console servers. You can see this with a tool like curl. In addition to the HTTP API, the DNS interface can be used to query the node. Note that you have to make sure to point your DNS lookups to the console agent's DNS server, which runs on port 8600 by default. The format of the DNS entries will be covered in more detail later. You can use Control c the interrupt signal, to gracefully halt the agent. After interrupting the agent, you should see it leave the cluster and shut down. By gracefully leaving, console notifies the other cluster members that the node left. If you had forcibly killed the agent process, other members of the cluster would have detected that the node failed. When a member leaves, its services and checks are removed from the catalog. When a member fails, its health is simply marked as critical but is not removed from the catalog. Console will automatically try to reconnect to failed nodes, allowing it to recover from certain network conditions while left nodes are no longer contacted. Additionally, if an agent is operating as a server, a graceful leave is important to avoid causing a potential availability outage affecting the consensus protocol. See the guide section for details on how to safely add and remove servers.